Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachos and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So today at the first time we to see our program for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, let's start with today's news. On my mandatory spirit when they call goal, don't come outside the let us know say Arsenal don't enter the race to sign El Wahi of Montpellier. Get so this guy scored 19 goals in 33 matches he placed in the French Ligue 1 and Arsenal they interested, Chelsea they interested, Newcastle also they interested. So when I first see this report, get something just struck my mind. So I was asking, why is Arsenal going for El Wahi? That scored 19 goals in 33 matches. At the same time, they are snobbing Balogun, who scored 20 something goals also for the same French League One. So it now struck me, you get nobody say the guy did better than Balogun, or maybe they're not the same way. The only difference is Balogun wants to play in the first team, you get. And this El if you can sign up, he will settle for a place in the bench, you get. So that is the major distinction. But at the same time, if we are saying the players in the League One they are not really that good because the shit packer league, what is Arsenal saying in El Wahi that makes them want to sign him? So I don't explain that I'm not just because he's going to settle for a place in the bench. We who can't develop and can't groom him because I think the boy is like 20 years old. He's still a youngster that has enough room for development. It's not like he's coming to knock on the door that I want to play in the first level, I want to disrupt everything you are doing there. Although, if he comes and maybe plays in the cup, you get call him Bosnet, Bosnet, maybe something happened. Let me see try him. But the main crux of the matter and the fact is this one will settle for a place on the bench while Balogu did knock on the fellow. Say first door, first level, or nothing. Because I know, say, as I report this to a lot of people, they say, why is Asta going for this player when well, we have a Balogu? So I believe I have answered your question. But let's look at the merits of this matter now. Share this guy now, like the kind of team we look for because we know that the kind of players we are looking for at the moment, we don't really have that kind of money, that kind of amount to throw around. But more just the watch that. Even Rasmus, how you don't do for like me to sign? But how can I get this kind of raw energy? What I like, guess what? The unfortunate thing, Doc Commerce, I use the mouth talk say that Manchester United, you won't go. So that is why the players are snack on back baby guys. So the guy they go to uh, Manchester. My you don't offer two between and uh, the Atlanta don't reject. Well, more just the watch. All right, away from that, so Sky Sports, Doc Commerce, I'm going to do an expose on why. Declan Rice deal never be completed in its entirety. Yet we all know Arsenal and West Ham have agreed a fee, one or five million pounds, agreed the payment structure. So what is keeping the deal waiting? So they come to review. Say West Ham lawyers are actually waiting for Arsenal lawyers to come and sign pen to paper and approve the deal that will make Declan Rice an Arsenal player. Because we know the guy has done his medical, done his media duties. What is remaining is to put pen to paper. Now, Arsenal lawyers are expected to carry the deal and go through it and read it. Now, what is West Ham lawyers wait? Let them look at the deal and ensure that the words are exactly the way they want it. Before them, because you know lawyers, and lawyers will just sign paper anyhow. Now. They will go through and go through the fine prints and make sure everything is the way it is, so that they will not be sound bad yet. Yeah, there will be no loophole for anything, no hidden things inside there. So. As we are waiting for them, to so we'll just make sure say everything will go away. Because from the look of things, as they want make this deal go down, sharp, 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 make them complete. And so we'll just watch. I believe say in the next coming days, yeah, everything will supposed to wrap up. All right. So Fabrizio Romano said, "Come, come and sign. Come, let us know say there are talks to get Odegaard to sign an extended deal to increase his salary." Get yes, so. The government will do an expose on Arsenal players, they show Bukayo Saka, show Ramsdale, show Gabriel Mogales, show Rhys Nelson, show Saliba, show Martinelli, like the core crop of players who get for Arsenal. We'll be seeing that then they make things they happen, we don't extend their contract, increase their salary, so now only Odegaard remain for the really swim bringers. So Arsenal very, very soon are going to begin talks with Odegaard, our midfield maestro, so that he will increase his tenure at Arsenal increase the years at the same time give him a bumper contract to reward him for the job well done that he did last season and for those who know they are aware Odegaard actually won our player of the season for Arsenal after they did they do the voting again so Odegaard first Bukayo Saka second I think Martinelli 
came third against so and I saw he paid. Remember, I seen that Sakai always carry the thing. I seen that he bet right. But you see, this is when he just passed. Only guy will show why he be captain. All right, so that match set. Also, come come and say, call it on say Arsenal hope to announce a Julian Simba deal get before their match against Nuremberg. So anytime soon, the match against Nuremberg, I think it's on Thursday on the 13th. So I think Arsenal will wrap up the deal before then. Get so they are hoping to do that. Then for Declan Rice, he said Declan Rice on that before Sunday. Arsenal they hope to make sure see they don't announce him because so that he will follow the team travel go USA. Because after this Nuremberg match, then he will join the team. They don't come travel go USA, but they must announce it before Sunday. So most of the looks like before now and Sunday. Shola, I don't was it not Chris Whitley that said yesterday that in the coming days Arsenal is going to wrap up the deals of. Simba and that of rice. So once you don't wrap all that one up, we can't know what it remains you get. So we we'll just watch. Me, I don't say people don't need cost or say I don't see the happen and why they never announce the deal. She any issue they ground, but no issue now. Everything we did, I just pen to paper. Julian Simba own, no issue for your side. Now Asna bless it, Asna won't announce the two at the same time because because if that is not the case, they're supposed to go announce a Simba. I'm gonna say okay, now rice remain. So from the look of things, maybe they want to do a joint announcement. What? Let's just keep watching. Alright, so we're going to watch uh, many, many pictures and videos of Aston players with the train for Germany, especially Kai Havertz. So we saw Kai Havertz training. And we get another video where I watch we, I don't know, supply all those Aston players and the staff uh, bicycle. One kind of confirmed super bicycle. They're going to ride them all over. Let's not Germany with that. They're going to ride all over town. You get the new video. See, it was nice, yeah. They were having fun, laughing. I see Jorginho, like everything was going well, yeah. So I just pray nobody over the game, Julie. We made them play this at preseason. Come out well, then before you know, the season will begin. Ah, no, I can't wait. All right, Dean Jones also come come and I can't really explain why Arsenal no fee afford to sign Chouameni. Yes. So, but how can they explain? Say, you see this Chouameni? No, no, no. If Arsenal won't sign up, he's going to be commanding like 80, 90 million pounds. And if you want to sign a player from Real Madrid, because the idea or the perception out there is the fact that Real Madrid wants to sell for the Verde and or sell to a man to recoup money and add to the one where they get to go for Mbappe because from the look of things Mbappe is going to be available from August 1 you get so because PSG give him the July deadline so from now to July ending we can sign new contract we no sign up then it's going to be on the market so remind said they look for money where they go fit take sign the player so they talk say if Aston won't buy that you are many. Remember, you know, the club will give you space to come spread the payments over three years, over four years. They don't really do business like that. So, if you come like cash and carry, you go bring your money, come carry the player where they look for. Because then, but they need to carry money also go with PSG. No, go to tell PSG, say, okay, in the next four years or five years, we'll spread the payment. Say, no. So, for that reason, Arsenal no get that flexibility of huge funds because they've already spent spending over 200 million. No be beans to get. So, for us to come and buy another player of 80 million, 90 million, ah, come on. It will be a very, very big ask. And we don't want financial fair play to come and put us in their radar. So that is the reason we made Dean Jones, we made the transfer guru. They say ask Nano if he sign somebody like you are many yes. If not that kind of 40 million, 50 million, or at least 60 million hey, is something that we can still bargain for. But anything 80, 90, 100, I don't know. They just keep us out of it. Alright, Fabrizio Romano also can't play down Arsenal's chances of signing a forward this summer, I guess. Now, when they talk about forward, forward consists of a striker or a winger. So, Fabrizio's op uh, opinion, we say, for now, the situation around signing forward or signing a winger is very, very quiet. Like, Arsenal are not looking at it for now, but maybe because, remember, I told I said, transfer window is still long. We still have the, the whole of July, we still have the whole of August. So things can still change in the future, but for now, we may only be like this now. Arsenal are not looking towards any direction of a winger or any direction of a striker, according to Fabrizio Romano. Although other sources they talk different. Is it not today that Gold has come and saying that Arsenal interested in signing El Wahi of Montpellier? Is it not a forward? So everybody they talk according to what their sources they tell them. But the truth still remains. We need a winger for Bukayo Saka, unless maybe we want the solely dependence on Rhys Nelson. He gets to act as a cover for Bukayo Saka because according to the ESPN 100 wingers ranking, Saka is the best winger in the world right now. I guess so. 
this uh, Musad Diaby, I even read the reports today that says that Bayern Leverkusen will take at least 55 million to 60 million if anybody wants to sign him. Newcastle are really, really pushing because Newcastle won't sell, sell Alan Maxime. Maybe they come buy heavy bands. Either they are getting heavy bands or they are getting Musad Diaby. So if Newcastle wants to sign, sell Alan Maxime, why are we not looking towards that guy's direction? Or is it that he does not have a clean bill of health? Are we scared of his injury? Like, I just think out loud because. For Newcastle, the results and Alan Maxim is because of the guys looking for playing time. It's not like having Vance is better than said Maxim. Yes. So now playing time, now between the pursuit the guy. And if the guy come up for there, is he still going to get a playing time at Arsenal? That is the major question because in our first eleven, we have identified that Martinelli Saka our first choices. So whoever is coming in is going to set on the place on the, on the bench. Then when you now prove yourself that you can perform better than people that are in the first level, the coach Evan is no respecter of anybody. There are no secret cows at us now, so we can put anybody who wants to prove yourself if you are willing to stay on the bench in the first place. So we we'll just watch everything. This one on my own list of players with me I like make us now sign, but we don't say at that self, you get players with them in your mind. So I say just be. Alright, William Saliba also don't come and say I can't shut down the internal rift speculation at Arsenal. Say, you know, they happy with Ateta. Say, because of the way they did three times, we don't come and say with media space, do an interview, can't debunk all those things. Say, you know, they fight with anybody, you saying they're at peace, in love, like, he enjoys support from Ateta, from the staff, even the players gone. You know, believe the players, they get mad belief, mad confidence. For we are Saliba Day. For Gabriel Jesus to come as a talk, say if Saliba Day play, then they concede less. He will show you say internally they themselves know what's up. Get and no player when they make things they happen. You get so you will be that kind of player and you see all this kind of support from the fans singing your name, do, 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 Saliba singing all those things. He said those things they make him feel ten feet tall. You get so at the end of the day, I believe he's happy at Arsenal. He's gotten the bumper contract. I think two hundred twenty thousand pounds per week. Then after tax, he's getting one ninety k. So. It is what it is. So my dear Arsenal lovers, if you know what you're this show, check the top left corner of your screen, we'll see the thumbnail. Click up so that you get all Arsenal news as they drop all over the world. So Satuk signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Now get out. <laughs>